Okay, you're not seeing a whole lot here because we are looking at what, as I look through the eyepieces of the microscope, we're going to continue looking at my, uh, focusing in on three thread, colored threads. We're using microscopy, the art or science of using the microscope. I'm going to walk over to the microscope and I'm going to use first the coarse adjustment knob and then the fine adjustment knob. I'll let you know when I get to the fine adjustment knob. Just watch the picture. Coarse adjustment knob, fine adjustment knob. And there we have showing a green thread. Now I'm going to go to the fine adjustment knob and notice the focus on those three threads. Did you notice how I rolled through the fine focus that you could see the different layers or you could see the green most clear first and as I rolled through the fine adjustment with the fine adjustment knob you could see the red a little more clearly. I never could get the yellow real focused. Now what you're looking at is a overhead screen and so you're not going to see the best picture. If you were using the microscope yourself, it would be an excellent picture. Okay, so as I, it is par focal, we got it the best focus we could with the coarse adjustment knob, and then we use the fine adjustment knob to get it most clear. And sometimes you're going to be looking at specimens that are thick, but yet transparent where the light can come through it. And then if you use your fine adjustment knob, you should be able to see through the different layers of that thicker specimen as long as the light can shine through it. Okay, I'm going to pause here and go to the letter E next. Let me tell you a little bit about the slide we're about to look at. As I look at the slide and at the label, it says letter E. The E is, I can read it, it is like it is on a page of newsprint. In fact, this is what we're going to be looking at as an E as it's found on a page of newsprint, the thinner paper, so the light can shine through. Now, um, the, the uh, microscope stage is racked all the way down, so I'm going to use my course adjustment knob first, and we're going to get it at its best focus and then the fine adjustment knob next and we're going to look at it on low power and then or we're going to look at it on scanning then low power and then high dry and we'll be able to see all the fibers in the paper. Uh, the E it starts out pretty large so we're just going to see a part of it when we go to uh, low power and high dry. Now, remember that the microscope is par focal, so we shouldn't have to do much adjusting on uh, the fine focus to see the letter E or parts of it with this microscope. Uh, we would not want to, once we get the, the scanning objective and the course adjustment done to the fine focus, the best focus we can, we do not touch the course adjustment knob again as we move to the higher objectives to the low power and high power because we don't want to crunch the slide and we don't need to. The microscope's par focal and it's going to be in the best uh, focus with the fine adjustment knob and so let's try it. Okay, that's with coarse adjustment and now I get the fine adjustment. Now that's on the scanning objective. Now let's go to low power. It's par focal, so I should not have to do much uh, uh, focusing with it. Okay, just a little tweak with the fine adjustment knob. Move that stage just a little bit and see if we can see the whole letter E. 
Okay, that's on low power. Remember, low power is at 10 times, and then the eyepiece 10 times of what total magnification are we looking at? Let's go to high drive. We only have to adjust just a little bit with high drive. Just tweak it just a little bit. Now I'm going to have to turn my light up just a little bit. Okay, that's the letter E on high dry, and that is fine focus. It doesn't look real focused for you because you're looking at a screen right now, a projector screen at uh, using the overhead projector. Okay, um, I had to adjust the light. Now remember I said there's a, that the higher magnification is allowing only a little bit of light to come through. So on scanning, you have a larger field of view. That's what you see when you look through the eyepieces. It's called the field of view. So you're seeing all the E, a very large field of view. Therefore, you can get a lot of light coming through. As you go to low power, you have it magnifies it, and so you're, you have a smaller field of view. Okay, since you have a smaller field of view, there's less light coming through. And then when we go to high dry or high power, there's even less light coming through because it's even a smaller field of view. And so we have to adjust the light. Now we have to have so much light so the projector can project the image onto the screen. Uh, you would adjust that as you're looking through the eyepieces. But I just wanted you to see that and be aware that the amount of light has to be adjusted. Okay, we're going to continue talking about this letter E. It looks a little different. I'm going to go back to scanning and let's look at it again. Okay, I told you when I saw this letter E on the slide, it was just like in a newspaper. What's wrong with that letter E? Okay, this is a property of compound microscope. As the image goes through several sets of lenses, something happens to it. We call this inverse, I-N-V-E-R-S-E, -E. inverse. It is upside down and backwards. That is what the lenses do when um, to an object that you're looking at. So whatever you're looking at is going to be inverse. It's going to be upside down and backwards. Remember that it sounds like a good quiz question. Inverse. Now I am going to put this microscope up. So the first thing I would do is I would uh, go back to the scanning objective and that's where it's sitting right now so it is safe for me to rack the stage all the way down using the course adjustment knob so I'm going to rack the stage all the way down and remove the slide now um, it's safe to remove the slide before I uh, rack it all the way down so I'm going to do that first rack it all the way down and if I were putting that microscope up, I would make sure that it is sitting with the scanning objective in place, the shortest objective, and the stage all the way down, and uh, uh, the light is turned off, the plug and unplug, wrap the plug up, carry it again with two hands, a hand under the base and one holding the um, handle. <clears throat> in the arm at the back of the microscope to carry it back to the cabinet. 